Welcome to Misconceptions and Difficult Concepts in Chemistry. Today's video is actually not on a real misconception or a really difficult concept. Some students find this difficult. It is the writing of chemical equations. Um, it, may seem a it may seem alien to students when we represent chemical substances with different symbols. Ca for calcium for example and CuSO4 for copper 2 sulfate. But this is actually a very efficient and very nifty way of representing a uh, compound and and, and using this, this universal symbols allows you to communicate chemistry to anybody in the world because everyone uses the same set of, the same language, the same set of language. So there are a few chemical equations which you actually need to know across your sec, your secondary 3 and secondary 4 O-level chemistry. So the first one you will need to know is the acid-base equation. So acid-base basically implies a reaction between an acid and a base. So let's take for example let's take for example HCl and the base as sodium oxide. So a base is basically a non basically a metal oxide. Okay, a base is a metal oxide. So HCl plus any any two O, what does it give you? Acid base reaction gives you salt and water. So what is the salt and what is what is water? Water is quite simply H2O. But how do we know what is the salt? If you were to go by the definition, the salt would be the H plus would be a compound formed when the H plus of an acid is replaced by a metal ion. For example, Na plus. So NaCl is considered a salt. So the definition of a salt again is the H plus of an acid replaced by a metal ion. But if you are still clueless, this is a there's a there's a simple way to go about doing this. It works most of the time, not all the time. So I can't promise anything. It is simply to cross the elements in the compounds. So if I was to cross this, H would go with O, giving me my H2O, and my sodium would go with my chlorine, giving me NaCl. Right? Oxygen is two minus. That's why you need two Na plus to balance the two minus charge. H is plus. Chlorine is minus. So you have NaCl plus H2O. Is this a complete equation? No. Equations must be written such as the left hand side and the right hand side have the same number of each element. So if I were to look through this and and count, I will notice straight away that there are two sodium ions here versus one sodium ion here. So how do I how do I go about balancing this? Okay, the trick to balancing a chemical equation is always to balance the metals first. We always balance the metals first. So if we scan through very quickly, we will see now that the metal here is sodium. So we balance sodium. We need two of the sodium. The next step is actually to follow through with the balancing. Follow through. So first step, we balance the metals. Second step, we balance the follow through. So we have two Na here and two Na here is balanced. Now, because adding two to NaCl, results in me having 2Cl. Okay, that's 2. If this is 1 NaCl, 2 NaCl basically means NaCl, NaCl, 2 of this. So now I have 2 sodium and I have 2 chlorine. So 2 chlorine, if I look up to the left hand side, the other side of the equation, there's only 1 chlorine here, I would put a 2. And because I put a 2 in front of HCl, it means that I now have 2H. And the right hand side of the equation over here has two H's as well, which means it is balanced. And there's one oxygen and one oxygen, so this is a balanced chemical equation. The next equation we will need to know is the acid carbonate reaction. So acid carbonate reaction gives us salt, water, and carbon dioxide. So let's have a simple example. HCl again plus Na2CO3 sodium carbonate salt water carbon dioxide we know water is H2O carbon dioxide is CO2 so what could be the salt again if you do not know we can try the simple crossing if you cross the front takes the back and the back takes the front we will have NaCl so now we go about balancing this remember balance the metal first. There's two sodium here, so we put a two here, which means now, now I have two chlorine, I'll put a two here, 
two H's, two H's, one O, two O's, three O's, and there's three O's over here, there are three O's over here, one carbon, one carbon, so this is a balanced chemical equation. The next one you need to know is the acid alkali reaction. Acid alkali gives us salt plus water. So simple example HCl plus alkali NaOH gives me salt and water. What is the salt? If you don't know what is the salt, we can do the crossing again. So front takes the back and the back takes the front. So this is sodium hydroxide made up of two ions, Na plus and OH minus. So if the front takes the back and the back takes the front, my salt will be NaCl. Counting across, we will notice that this is a balanced chemical equation. The next equation you will need to know is the acid metal reaction. So acid metal gives us salt and hydrogen gas. So if I have HCl plus a metal such as magnesium, I will have H2 here, and what is my salt? There's nothing else that could possibly be except MgCl. And I have MgCl2 because magnesium is in group 2 of the periodic table, which means that it has two valence electrons. So having two valence electrons, it is easier to lose two than to gain six. So losing two gives us a charge of Mg2+. Mg2 plus will require two Cl minus to balance the charge. So two positive charges and two negative charges come together to give us a zero charge. All the compounds must be electrically neutral, so it's MgCl2. Magnesium is balanced. Magnesium is balanced. The next thing we look at is the one which goes with the metal, Cl2. We need two of this, two H's, two H's, and this is a balanced chemical equation. The next common equation you will need to balance is a precipitation reaction. So a precipitate is basically a substance which is insoluble in water. So let's take for example silver nitrate AgNO3 plus HCl. So what do we get? If you don't know, it's quite simple. Let's do the crossing. Front takes the back, back takes the front. I have AgCl plus HNO3. So looking through, Everything is balanced. This is the precipitate because it's actually a solid in aqueous solutions. It can't dissolve. Another equation which you may sometimes encounter is the ammonia acid equation. Ammonia reacting with acid. So ammonia is actually a base. It's an alkali also. It's an alkali. So ammonia is represented as NH3. Acid, let's say, is HCl. Sometimes you may see questions you may see books or you may see questions representing ammonia as NH4OH. This is actually wrong. Okay, There's no such compound form, NH4OH. Ammonia is actually NH3, so an ammonia acid reaction is simply NH3 plus the acid itself, giving us the salt plus water. But there's no water. There can't be any water present because water is H2O. And if you observe the left side of the equation, there's actually no oxygen present to balance. So we exclude the water during the reaction. Okay, so NH3, HCl, we just put everything, everything together. Ammonia plus acid, it will give us an ammonium compound. Ammonium is NH4 plus. So the ammonium compound here is NH4, Cl. Cl is one minus charge, NH4 is one positive charge, so one and one is balanced. So this is ammonia plus HCl giving us ammonium chloride. So you would ask where does the water go to because ammonia doesn't it look like it is in aqueous state in the lab. Yes, you are right, it is in aqueous state in the lab. So in fact, it is actually ammonia and water together. So this is the, this is the alkali plus the acid giving us salt plus water. So there's water on both sides, we cancel them away. So straight away, we, just, we can just simply write NH3 plus HCl giving us NH4Cl.